What's going on guys, SFM here, and uh, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, now, this video uh, is going to be something I haven't really done before. Um, uh, it's a Gmod video, as you can probably tell. And uh, today, I'm going to be discussing this beauty right here. This is the TARDIS rewrite, uh, 1963 TARDIS rewrite in Gary's mod. So, this is going to be like a little uh, mod showcase type thing, uh, slash review. Uh, and tutorial um, of how to actually fly this thing because although the mod does allow for tips um, as with some other TARDIS consoles that there, there's tips enabled this one doesn't support it so I'm just going to be showing you what the buttons are what they do and how you can fly this thing successfully without having the struggle of um, actually struggling to pilot it so we're going to get started Okay, so this is the TARDIS in all its beauty. This is the 1963 uh, TARDIS from Doctor Who. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. looks absolutely stunning. It's even down to the slightest detail, hanging the silver around the, uh, the windows there. Uh, you can also get another style if you hold C and then right click and then go to skin. You can have like a snowy effect uh, like it did in the 10th planet. But we are going to be sticking with the classic uh, normal skin for now. So, yeah, this is the TARDIS. Um, not really much to say about the exterior. Um, now, you can actually link TARDISes with the Sonic Screwdriver. I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. I'm pr holding Alt, but nothing's working. So if you guys know about how to actually do that, then please let me know because it would... Uh, make it good so basically all you gotta do with this is you hold alt or the button that's binded i think and then click or something i'm not too sure and then you can it will say tardis linked and then you press r and the tardis will teleport to wherever you link it uh, to wherever you face so yeah what we're going to be doing is just having a look inside and yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open the doors and this is it <laughs> You walk inside, you get that nice, classic 1960s hum. Which is absolutely beautiful. It looks really, really nice. Um, so we're going to close these doors. And then we're going to press E to open the big double doors. To expose the console room. So we're going to walk in. Now this is the console room. Which is absolutely beautiful. It looks really, really nice with its classic green colours. Little fun fact you may not have known, um, it was actually green because it, because obviously it was in black and white, the green showed up as white on the cameras, which is why the room is um, a sort of greeny colour. Um, I really love the design of it, it's, everything is so sort of like, mostly accurate. Um, this is actually another whole section we'll get to. Back here is where the fault locator is in the show. So th this is the fault locator. So that will come up with a number, K7 or something like that. Um, with K7 is actually where the fluid link is, which the Doctor pretends is broken. Um, I think that may be a little reference to it down there, actually. Um, but anyways, um, he pretends it's broken in the serial The Daleks, uh, which he says, oh, we must go into the city to get some more mercury. And uh, they end up getting... Uh, caught by the Daleks so yeah this is the console room it looks absolutely beautiful and um, also if you look at the monitor back there it has that nice swirling butterfly patterns that Warris Hussein was so obsessed with in the classic series uh, well when they were making the classic series uh, for the title sequence uh, it's, it's actually known as a howl around um, if you didn't know how to do that and basically the way they create that is they point a camera back at the visual link of the monitor, uh, which then creates and they and they add um, throw like a light source down, and it creates these swirling sort of butterfly patterns, um, and it, it's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is having a look just around the TARDIS, taking note. If you look here, um, because obviously the low budget, they actually had to make like a paper sort of um wall which i'm actually glad they've added here to give it that more feel it's so beautiful seeing that um it's only on that side though everything else is like real prop and if we actually no clip and go up a little bit you can actually see some studio lights around 
which is also another beautiful little feature um, that they added. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on to this section. Now, I did say that this was a whole other part, and it is. If we press E and open these doors, we have this little room here. Now, this is sort of the relaxation room. This is where um, uh, Susan and Barbara uh, were asleep in the uh, serial, The Edge of Destruction, uh, when they were passed out. Now, this is a um, cube, like food cube creation unit thing. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, but basically, you put in the number of code of what food you want on here, and then you put in the number, and then you press print, and it will print it out for you. So you can have water, uh, milk. Uh, there's two water buttons there. Um, but it prints out anything, pretty much anything you want, which is absolutely cool. You can also walk around the back here, um, and there's a chair here. And then if you open this, which you cannot, okay, I just want to confirm, I didn't actually know this was back here, I literally just found this out. Um, I assume this would be another door, but it's not, but it's cool that there's, shows that there's more to the TARDIS. Anyway, we're going to go back into the main console room and actually have a look at the console now. So this is the console, um, and I'm going to be showing you what all of the controls do. So this little switch here. Uh, which I'm actually going to pull up my crossbow so you can see. This little switch here is the fast return, as you can see that it's labelled. Um, it's actually labelled like that in the show, which is really nice attention to detail. So if you um, materialise in one place and materialise in another and you want to quickly switch back, you just hit that and it will take you there immediately. Uh, this switch here, if I hit this and then head outside the TARDIS, and then I close the doors, it's cloaked. So you cannot see it at all. And if you open the doors, you can then see it. But I'm going to go and turn that back off. Okay. So now all of these little switches and buttons don't do anything. But they do... Some of them do activate little lights on the console. Which just is amazing attention to detail. And really, really nice to see. This switch doesn't do anything, as I believe. But I also have another theory. That this actually deactivates um, uh, vortex flight mode, uh, which we'll get onto in a moment. Now, this is the dematerialization lever, so this is what you hit to start dematerializing to head into the vortex. We will do that very soon. This is a flight lever, so you hit this and you can do free mode flight, which we will also get onto in a minute. Uh, this little switch here does bugger all. All of these switches here do bugger all actually. Except for this one. Now this little switch here, you hit it, and it closes those main doors. But we're going to leave those open. I usually leave them open. I know it's more authentic to keep them shut, but I usually leave them open just for um, purposes of getting in and out of the TARDIS quickly. Um, and then we head over to this panel. Again, most of these switches don't do anything. Um, but if you, this little switch here at the end, if you hit E on this, this brings up the TARDIS interface. So, with this, you can actually add a new position. So, say we call this Moon Base. And then we hit OK. So, use the current TARDIS uh, location and position and rotation. You hit Yes. And then it has this saved. So, if I were to move somewhere else, which we will do very shortly, I can actually dematerialize back to here. Um, you could also hit Select Manually. And you can select a random location. So it will bring up this view of the TARDIS on the outside. Now you may think, oh, it's just the TARDIS. I can't move. Yeah, you can. There's like a little silhouette view of the TARDIS. Which we will place it... Oh, I don't know. When doing this, you've got to be careful that you don't actually clip the TARDIS through the floor. Otherwise, it will probably mess up upon landing. I have never done that, but I just have been careful not to do so. I accidentally just shot my TARDIS, good job me. Okay, so we've got that set. And so what we're going to do is, in a moment, I will show you. Now this little lever, this little switch here, I don't usually mess around with this because I don't like it. It kind of messes up the console, but it's kind of fun. So if you hit this switch and then you go on to here, you see the lights flashing? You're actually in floating mode now. So the TARDIS has no gravity, so it just floats. And it can spin and go absolutely crazy but i usually just leave it off okay and now we're on our side 
Okay, so that brings us on to this. Now, this actually just turns off the power to the console by doing that. And, yeah. So, I, for I also forgot something. If you come around here and hit this, that now locks the TARDIS doors. So, they're now locked. So, if you come back round and hit it again, it unlocks the doors. None of these, I believe, actually open anything. I think they're all for visual effects. Um... But I still find that it's pretty cool that pretty much everything on here is interactable, which is really nice details. Okay, so now what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to dematerialize um, because I have set the location and we're going to go there. So we're going to hit the dematerialization lever. Okay, so we are actually now in flight mode. So if I press E on the console, you will see that we are now in the time vortex. I can also push W, and I can sort of fly, it would appear as I'm flying through the vortex. Now this is forward in time, this is backward in time. Um, which is a nice little feature. Right, so if I now press E to go back to the console room, and I hit the lever again, and again, and again. You don't have to do it, you should have to do it once. Don't know why I did it that many times. And there you go, we have landed. So if I go outside the TARDIS now, you will notice that we move from over there to over here, which is actually really, really lovely. So, say I wanted. I'm actually opening those. So, say I wanted to go back to laying on the floor over there. All I have to do is hit fast return. And we are back to laying on the floor over here. Lovely. Now, if you notice that when I hit the fast return, we didn't go into the vortex, we came straight here. That's what it's called by fast return, I thought that would be obvious. Okay, so we're going to go back inside the console now, uh, inside the TARDIS. You have to sort of, I do love that, that it's got some sort of like realistic physics, because the TARDIS has its own centre of gravity, that's confirmed in the show. And I love it that you crouch and you can actually walk through still, it, I just find that really cool. Um... Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set a flight. Uh, we're going to set somewhere to fly to. So we're going to hit on moon base. And we're going to click set. So now that is set. What we are now going to do is I'm going to hit E on the console so that we're still laying here. Okay, and then if I press left click. That also dematerializes us. And now we're in the vortex. If I hit left click again. And here we are. We are back to this position. So that acts as uh, another sort of dematerialization mode. Um, away, you know, so you can actually watch it from the outside. It's pretty nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the next mode of flying. And this is it here, the flight mode. Now, if I hit this, you notice that is going to actually go up and down. But it's not going to make the normal dematerialization noise that you're used to. But if you press E on the console... You'll notice it's still making the noise and the lan lantern is flashing. And that's because if you actually press W, you can actually fly off. And here we go, we're flying off into space. And obviously with this map, I love this map for TARDISes, it's so nice. 
because you can travel to other planets like this one here or oh there's a snow planet over here let's go over here and put the snowy uh, snowy theme on oh yes we can do this right there we go let's turn that off let's go outside and put the snow TARDIS theme on just for the aesthetic there we go oh that looks lovely okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back inside and we are going to I'm gonna show you another thing you can do with the flight mode so while you are flying uh, you via flight mode you, if you press right click on your mouse you can put, set the spin direction to none so you can just move around like that very untardis like but then if you press it again it changes it to clockwise and then if you change it like this it changes it to anti-clockwise which is typically what the TARDIS will fly in in the show okay now whilst you're in flight mode say if there's a specific place you wanted to go to which we are going to come off of this planet I'm going to change the skin back. I don't think I could do it while I'm in flight. No, I can't do it while I'm in flight. Okay, so... Say there's a place... Say I wanted to come down here, right? I'm going to test my theory, actually. I'm going to hit that. Okay. And say I wanted to land down there. You can also hold shift to go faster while you're moving, by the way. If you hold left, left click, the TARDIS will go sort of invisible like that. Uh, or partially visible and it, you see that little red dot when you're closer to the object it's a bigger cross but when you're further away it's a smaller dot so if we go far away from it and then let go we will now dematerialize but see instead of going into the vortex we just end up straight there okay now that is my theory that that is what that is for i'm not entirely sure because it is random so i have noticed sometimes i will end up into the vortex even though i've had this turned down okay so let's do that exact same flight again up here right i've got it turned off but mind you up here to down there and let's see if i go into the vortex we do we do go into the vortex okay so I actually do think that that switch there is a uh, vortex flight mode um, manipulator button whatever you like to call it uh, I don't quite know what you okay um, okay we're gonna stand ourselves back up that's it okay I'm gonna head outside the TARDIS now and I'm going to change the body group to uh, zero. I'm going to pull up my sonic screwdriver because there is something that I would like to show you with this. So if you look at the doors and hold left, the TARDIS doors will open. If you look at the doors and hold right, they also open. Now if you look at the lantern and hold left... Okay, that was... Okay, if you look at the side panel... Okay, if you look at the side panel and hold right, yeah, that's it. If you look at the lantern and hold right, the TARDIS locks and unlocks. So while you're outside, you can... Oh, I'm going to lock it. No one can get in. I'm going to unlock it. Oh, look, it's open now. So that is my TARDIS tutorial uh, slash, like, little showcase um, thing for Gary's Mod. For the 1963 TARDIS rewrite. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you would like to see more TARDIS rewrite tutorials. And um, little showcases. Um, please let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to bring out more stuff. If you'd like to see more Garry's Mod videos. Then please let me know. Because I'd love to make Garry's Mod. It's one of my favourite games of all time. And it's just amazing to make content for it. It's so easy and it's so nice. And the videos always look amazing. Um. I would like to thank everyone for the support on the um, Stealing a TARDIS Gary's Mod movie um, that I made with Eva. Um, the support on that video has been crazy. Um, 
uh, it's it's uh, it's it's done so much better than any of my recent videos and all of that thanks is down to you guys that is absolutely amazing um and to all the new subscribers that have come onto the channel uh, i hope you guys stick around um and enjoy the rest of my content um but yes guys thank you very much for watching um i'll see you all in another video and uh goodbye